Hello, everyone. My name is Shifeng Sun from National University and Data Sys1. Uh, today, I will give a talk on public key punctual encryption, modular and uh, compact constructions. Uh, this is a joint work with Amin Saksad, Ron Stanfield, uh, Joseph Liu from National University, and Dao Gu from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. So, what is public key uh, punctual encryption, uh, PPE for short? Uh, informally, it is a new form of public key encryption that supports the verification of decryption capability for specific messages. Uh, it consists of four polynomial time algorithms, the key generation algorithm, puncture algorithm, uh, uh, encryption algorithm, and decryption algorithm. Uh, a user can use a key generation algorithm to generate her uh, public key and a secret key. Uh, when some others uh, would like to send some sensitive messages to this user, they encrypt these messages and this user's public key are the, the tags associated with the messages are then sent out to the subtests. After receiving the subtests, the user can use her own secret key to decrypt uh, all the subtests. Additionally, uh, she is able to selectively revoke the ability to decrypt uh, some subtest with the specific text. Uh, this is uh, realized by running the puncture algorithm repeatedly and sequentially. The puncture algorithm takes as input uh, the current punctured secret key and a new tag to be revoked and outputs a new punctured secret key. With a punctured secret key for a set of texts, uh, say for text T1 and T3, uh, we can still decrypt the subtext uh, encrypted and other texts rather than T1 and T3, but can no longer uh, recover the messages encrypted and tag T1 or T3. The security of PBE ensures that uh, even giving a punctured secret key on a set of texts P, uh, an efficient adversary cannot learn anything about the message encrypted and untagged in P. Uh, in practice, uh, each message may be associated with a, a set of texts. In PBE, the message can be encrypted and the set of texts. Uh, in this work, we focus on the CAM version of PPE, uh, that is the punctual key encapsulation mechanism, PCAM for short. Uh, in PCAM, the encapsulation algorithm takes as input a public key and a set of texts and uh, uh, outputs a subtext and an encapsulated key. The security of PCAM ensures that an efficient adversary uh, given a punctual secret key on a set of text P cannot distinguish an encapsulated key from a random key, uh, where the encapsulated key uh, is generated and uh, some tag in P. Uh, the state arch, the state of the art uh, is the bloom fit encryption uh, proposed by Dila and others in 2018. Uh, actually, it is a relaxed uh, uh, variant of PPE. Here, the relaxed means that uh, the correctness error is allowed to be non-negligible. Uh, beyond the uh, uh, concrete construction, they also presented two generic constructions uh, from soft test policy attribute based encryption and uh, uh, identity based broadcast encryption. Uh, their constructions uh, enjoys both efficient puncture and uh, decryption uh, procedures. Uh, but support only one puncture per message. In addition, the number of punctures needs to be uh, predetermined and is bounded. Uh, in contrast to the public key puncture encryption scheme uh, proposed by Green and Myers in 2015, uh, avoids the above drawbacks, but it's constructed in the run Markov model. Uh, moreover, the maximum number of texts per message uh, is predetermined as the system theta. And uh, the communication and uh, computation overheads, like the public key size, soft test size, uh, encryption time, and uh, the puncture time, are linear with the number uh, uh, with the number d. Also, some other works were proposed, uh, like the scheme uh, proposed by Kohen and others in 2015. Their scheme supports only two punctures. Uh, and is constructed from the indistinguishability of obfuscation. Uh, so their construction uh, 
is more a theoretical result than a practical solution. So a next question is that, how to design efficient PPE or PCAM schemes with as many nice properties as possible, like meeting both unbounded punctures and a compact self-test? Another question is, is it possible to generically construct a, a PPE uh, from other cryptography primitives, like the work on Bloomfield encryption, but with negligible correctness errors? To answer these questions, we first propose a refined form of identity-based revocable encryption, uh, namely key homomorphic identity-based CAM with extended correctness. Uh, further, we present for the first time a generic construction of a, a punctual CAM from the refined primitive in the standard model. Our generic construction uh, enjoys the following features. It supports unbounded neighbor punctures, multi-text per message, and it does not to suffer from uh, non negligible correctness error. By instantiating uh, the refined primitive from different number theoretical assumptions, we obtain several PCAM schemes with enough features beyond the above, uh, such as uh, compact self test and unbounded text per message. Uh, next, let me show our main approach. Before that, uh, let's first recall the notion of identity based revocable. CAM. Actually, uh, it is the CAM version of identity-based revocable encryption. It consists of uh, uh, four polynomial uh, algorithms, the must key generation algorithm, the key extraction algorithm, the encapsulation algorithm, and the decapsulation algorithm. Uh, in an identity-based verification system, a trusted party with a master secret key and a master public key uh, generates a private key for each user in the system. Uh, when a user broadcasts a message and would not like some specific users to access this message, she generates an encapsulated key and a revocation list are containing uh, those specific users. And then uh, broadcasts the subtest. After receiving the subtest, the user not contained in the revocation list can uh, decapitate the subtest C and uh, get the symmetric key. The security of uh, uh, IRCAM uh, ensures that uh, even the revoked users collude, they cannot distinguish the unencapsulated key from a random key. Now let's turn to uh, our approach. Our approach starts from uh, the observation that uh, PCAM supporting only one puncture can be derived directly from any RCAM, particularly the key generation algorithm and the encapsulation algorithm of PCAM are identical to that of uh, uh, RCAM. For the puncture algorithm, it is realized by the key extraction algorithm of RCAM. Uh, particularly, to puncture the secret key at uh, attack T, we simply uh, run the key extraction algorithm of RCAM to get the corresponding private key SKT and set it as the puncture secret key. For the uh, decapitalization algorithm, to decapitalate a self test uh, with, uh, with the puncture secret key SK1, uh, if the set of tags associated with the self test does not contain the tag. Uh, at which the secret key is punctured, which means uh, this tag is not revoked, uh, then the encapsulated key can be correctly recovered due to the correctness of RCAM. Now the question is, can we make it uh, support multi-punctures? Yes, uh, the idea is to achieve it by distributing the decapitalization algorithm uh, across all punctures. A trivial solution uh, is like this. To support n punctures, we sample n ICAM must key uh, key pairs. Each must secret key is used for one puncture to generate uh, an encapsulated key. We run n times ICAM encapsulation algorithm and different master public keys uh, under the same tag list T. Then we will get n pair of self test and encapsulated key from C1 key 1 to C in key n. Uh, all the soft tests 
uh, constitute the uh, subtest of the uh, PCAM. And the encapsulated key is set as the multiplication of K1 to Kn. Uh, here we assume that the uh, encapsulated key space forms a group. And this notation uh, denotes the group operation. Uh, for puncture, uh, we uh, use each master secret key to carry out a puncture. More specifically, uh, to puncture the original secret key at tag T1, we use uh, um, MSK1 to generate uh, the co a, a corresponding private key SKT1 by running the uh, key extraction algorithm of LKM. The uh, private key SKT1 together with uh, uh, the remaining master secret keys constitutes uh, the current puncture secret key. Uh, by Repeating this process, we can carry out multi punctures. For the decryption process, to decrypt a soft test uh, with a, a puncture secret key, CSKI, where SKI is for the set of texts from T1 to TI. Uh, if the, the set of texts uh, attached to the soft test CT uh, does not contain any tag at which the secret key has been punctured, uh, which means uh, each TJ uh, is not revoked. Then we can use uh, the private, uh, private key as key TJ to decapitate the soft test CJ and uh, uh, recover the key share KJ. With the remaining master secret keys, we can also recover the corresponding key, uh, key shares. Then by combining all these key shares, we can recover the encapsulated key. Although these solutions uh, support multi punctures, its communication and computation overheads are linear with the number of punctures. So the question is how to overcome these drawbacks and get a better solution. The idea is to use only one inst uh, AirCam instance to generate the uh, the encapsulated key, uh, and then split it into multi shares. Uh, by this way, the public key size and the software size is, uh, uh, are independent, uh, independent of the number of punctures. To do so, uh, we assume that uh, the encapsulated key uh, is in this form. Uh, that is, it is uh, a function of uh, uh, S key and S, where S is the random currency used in the um, LKM encapsulation algorithm. Further, we assume that uh, uh, F is homomorphic with res respect to SK. In this case, the encapsul encapsulated K can be split into uh, as many shares as the number of punctures. Here, the MSKs uh, are determined during the puncturing procedure and they are used for punctures. Uh, each one is used for one puncture. For simplicity, we assume that MSK uh, is randomly chosen, and the uh, MPK can be derived from uh, MSK. Uh, as the identity-based encryption considered by Belay and others in 2012. Uh, for the puncture algorithm, uh, whenever carrying out one puncture, each uh, a fresh random key, a, fre a fresh uh, a master secret key is chosen and used for this puncture, uh, particularly uh, to carry out uh, the, the first puncture at tag T1, uh, which randomly choose uh, a master secret key, MSK1, and use it to generate a, a private key, SKT1. The SKT1 and uh, the remaining master secret key uh, constitutes, constitute the current uh, puncture secret key. Similarly, we can choose another master secret key uh, to puncture uh, the current puncture secret key SKT1 at a second tag T2 and get a new puncture secret key consisting of SKT1 and SKT2 and the remaining master secret key. By repeating this process, um, 
the secret key can be punctured as many uh, at uh, at as many texts as we uh, as we want. Uh, before looking at the decryption uh, decapitulation process, we first recall uh, the that process in the previous solution. In that solution, uh, each private key at KTJ and the subtest CJ are computed, computed from a valid master secret key and a public key pair. So if the set of a text attached to the subtest does not contain uh, the tag TJ, uh, at which uh, the secret key has been punctured, then we can use the private key SKTJ to recover, uh, to decapitate the self-tested CJ and recover the corresponding share F MSKJ SJ. However, here we only have one self-test. And the self-test and uh, uh, the private keys are generated from uh, different uh, master key pairs. So the question is, is there any method enabling us to uh, compute the key shares uh, from the uh, private keys and the self-test? Uh, if so, we can, uh, by accompanying all these shares together, to recover the encapsulated key. Fortunately, we found that in many existing RCAM schemes, uh, the RCAM decapitulation algorithm uh, satisfies this requirement as well. Then we call the outcome scheme uh, with this uh, property extended correct. In other words, the property extended correctness ensures that a valid encapsulated key can be computed by decapitulating other soft tests generated and the same random coins. With uh, the identity-based uh, revocable cam uh, meeting these two properties, we can get uh, a gen generic construction of PCAM following um, the above approach. Our generic construction following that we uh, features the above uh, properties. It enjoys unbounded number of punctures, multi text per message, and negligible correctness error. Regarding its security, it can be reduced to the security of the underlying uh, RCAM without additional assumptions. We also present uh, several instantiations, which are summarized in the table below. The first construction enjoys a compact subtest. Uh, the second construction enjoys a compact secret key. The fourth construction also enjoys a compact subtest, but can be proven secure under standard assumptions. Uh, the third construction uh, have both compact public key and uh, uh, compact secret key. In addition, it uh, supports unbounded number of texts per message. The third construction uh, is uh, actually the CAM version of uh, the identity-based revocable encryption proposed by Leco and others in 2010 with uh, slight modifications. The others are derived from uh, non-zero in the product encryption schemes by applying the embedding lemma. The detailed compar comparisons are shown in the following tables. Uh, we can see that our first construction enjoys a very compact uh, subtest, which uh, consists of only two group elements. Uh, the third construction enjoys a, pub uh, a compact uh, public key size. And uh, uh, it is supposed an abundant number of uh, text per message. However, these two constructions are, can only be primary and non standard assumptions. In contrast, the second and the fourth construction uh, can be primary under the standard assumptions. Also, we can say that uh, the description overheads uh, of our constructions. Are linear with number with uh, 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 the number of punctures. Fortunately, uh, the decomposition algorithm of our constructions are highly parallelized, so they can be optimized by uh, parallelization. 
here I don't I'm not going to explain too much here. Uh, finally, I end this talk with a brief summary. Uh, in this work, we propose a refined notion of uh, identity-based uh, revocable encryption. Uh, then we uh, present a generic uh, construction of PCAM from the refined um, uh, IRCAM. Finally, we uh, give several concrete constructions enjoying diff um, uh, distinct properties. Uh, there's also, th there are still some open questions. Uh, for example, one question is uh, how to design efficient pick can meeting both compact case and uh, subtest and uh, standard assumptions. Uh, another question is how to design post quantum uh, like uh, lattice based pick can a supporting unbounded number of punctures. Uh, thanks for your attention. <laughs>